Card 2000 Custom Championship is brought to you by... The heat is on at the Berg Lakefront Airport in Cleveland, Ohio. It's the third round of the 2000 Card Custom Championship. After his win in Rio, Golf Racing Team driver Timo D strongly expects another good result, putting him in a position to fight for the championship. So hi there everybody. Yeah, good news and bad news. Um, bad news first, um, I had to abandon my actual custom championship because I, I made two mistakes. First one was um, I've included twice Cleveland and forgot Road America. Yeah, uh, mea culpa. And the second one is the real historic weather has uh, turned out to be completely foobar. Um, I've also had, when I was doing Cleveland, rain in every session. That is in qualifying and then also in the race. And the problem is not that it is not like in real life, but that doing rain races, wet races here, actually means for me that I'm completely lost. It is so difficult for me, for my skills, not possible to do proper laps as long as there is no racing line. So no matter if you're on slicks or on wets or on whatever tires, as long as it is just wet, no racing line visible, it is like skating, forget it. Whereas the AI has, as always, perfect traction. That's no fun, not for me, not for you guys. So two mistakes and I've reset the championship or I've created a new one just with Cleveland, Road America and Laguna Seca. I've also set the weather now manually so it'll be dry in all three races like it was in reality, by the way. What about points and stuff? No problem. Of course, I have still the data of the first two rounds and I would just add the points, sum them up and, and give you a, a new layout at the end of each session. No problem. So I just finished qualifying and in the end, I got in P3, only 24,000 behind Juan Pablo Montoya and only 2,000 behind Jimmy Vesser. I fiddled around with the setup a lot and ended up with 31 front wing, 36 rear, giving me much more downforce in these 90 degrees uh, corners, yet still enough top speed on the straights. I'm pretty curious what the race will be like. Yeah, because this, this track is a tire reader on the left side. It's not so much about tire wear in general, but tire heat. I will, of course, switch to hard slicks, but even they, um, I think, I'm afraid, um, will overheat immediately after a couple of laps. So it'll be interesting to see if my strategy works, because I actually plan to stay out 17 laps to the maximum amount of uh, time with the maximum amount of fuel there, and to only do two stops. I doubt that I will be able to keep up with the AI in the race, but it should be points and I just hope for a top 10 result. Here we go. It's gonna be a battle against the heat. And I'd like to start a P3, if that's possible. Game, what do you think? And yep. Yeah. Can I do something against Vassar here? No. no. No damage. Luckily, no damage. After the punt. On your right. Play right. Totally unnecessary. And back in P11. Hmm. Wow. 
Right side. That was close. Right. Come on, stick to the line. So easy to overdrive the car here. So easy. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at my tire, it's 100 degrees left front. What a time. On your left. What can I do? One minute? Hold your line. Yeah. Play left. Up lap time was one zero zero point. Car right. Play right. Oh, that's the ferrum behind me. On your right. Lost a couple of places. Hold your line. Play right. Not so easy, Jill. Must have been a result from the battle with me in T1. Oh, look at that, how much quicker he is. Ah. Cannot hold him long behind me. Point, Jim. On your right. Really, right. there is no Car point. Clear right. right. Your left front has a bit of wear. Oh, really? The wear actually is not the problem, it's, it's uh, the heat, the temperature. Still there. Play right. Oh, he backed off. Thank you, Oriol. V13, that last lap was at 100.1. Zero, zero, Has to be a very tactical race. So yeah, I gotta admit my my actual pace here in the race with these tires we estimate about 18 more laps on this is side. about lap uh, P20, I guess. You need to watch your left side tire temperatures. I am watching them all the time, but what can I do? Drive slower, oh god, no. Nope. On your right. Hold your line, clear right. Back in P16. The gap behind is now 1.0. Wow, okay, wow. What's happening now? Car? We've seen a bit of wear all round. That's the effect of two hot tires, yep. Right 
Wow. 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 Okay, so... Driving... Somewhere near the limit. Yeah. Okay, Timo. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Just impossible anymore. P18 now. Okay. So I think for these three stoppers, the pit window now is about to open. Close, close, close. Right side. Yeah. Still there. I cannot Line defend, man. Right. The car ahead is looked out. Right side. Wow. Clear right. You're carrying minor wear on your right side tires. We're seeing significant wear on both left side tires. Me too, Jim. Me too. What can I do? Right. Come on. Car right. Play right. Wow. Five more laps with these tires. Okay. What can you do against overheating? I mean, effectively, really. Except for driving slower. Really, my only hope is to, to save one stop in the end, right? That's really it. Pace-wise, um, I'm completely lost here. Forget it. Alright, Timo, you've got about four laps of fuel left. P18. I mean, yeah, come back a little. Some guys have been in the pits. Andretti is pitting from P3. We think he'll be close yeah. in front of you when he exits. Your tire temperatures look good. The gap to Jordan ahead is increasing. It's now 1.2 seconds. Alright, thanks for the info, Jim. Always welcome. Okay. Acknowledged. I'll get in. Okay, Timo. Expect traffic when you exit the pits. When we exit the pits, we'll be in P28. Just in front of P29. On your right. Play right. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Ah, uh, no, no, no damage, no, no, please no damage, don't, ah, uh, too late, they're going to repair it, ah, uh, well, so what, let's have it repaired then, we'll take about 10 more seconds I guess, at least then I'll have a repaired and fully functional car, alright, so, yeah, 15, more seconds. Go, go. Yeah. P29. Dead last. Wow. Okay. That's humiliating. There's <laughs> a car approaching. Stay behind the line. A blue flag. Okay, now two laps before my tires will again overheat. So let's enjoy these two laps. Blue flag. I think this race so far has been a great example of the difference there is between qualifying and doing a race. 
between hot lapping and yeah doing real races I mean wow I am moderately fast left side, yeah left. on one lap but under these circumstances absolutely chanceless in the race here look at that if I only knew a way to not overheat my tires maybe I'm doing something fundamentally wrong if you know more please tell me Yeah, yeah. What else? Pretty dominant race. So, oof. Yeah. So far by... By uh, Juan Pablo. I'm so slow. Yeah, go through. I don't have anything. To defend myself. Well, well, well. Saving that spin by pushing the clutch. Wow! <laughs> it's so hopeless and so frustrating. Ah, please go by. Please go by. It's the next corners, these two turns of this chicane where I'm hopelessly slow, hopelessly. Just look at that, I mean, Tyra is scrubbing, fighting for every inch of grip, which just isn't there. Left side. Yeah. I definitely don't want to spoil the AI's race. That's the thing I hear most today. B26. I mean, it's really hard to, to keep your motivation up if you're just getting left. Just to put myself in the shoes of those drivers were had just did not have the pace or don't have the pace or were were or are in, in slow yeah well in in slow cars that's well <laughs> it's so humiliating I mean you're a racing driver you want to go fast on your 
And all I hear here at the moment is you're slow, make way for the faster ones. So, I get in by the end of this lap. And have also the car repaired. Don't, 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 don't. Blue flag, watch your speed. Yep. Okay guys, do a job, please. Fuel, tires, repair. Ah, uh, get me out in one piece. Twelve seconds later. They didn't really take that long. Ah, oh, come on guys. All done, go! I am. I am. P28, but it's my last stop, guys. So, I'd say from now on, provided I don't do any bullshit, I should be able to... Oh, yeah. Your exit is clear. Watch the white line. Blue to make up some places. Yeah, please, Demo. That's the reality. Reality reads P26. Nice and smooth. Don't overdrive the car. P26. Three, four seconds behind the leaders. And I mean, three, four seconds per lap. Wow. Okay, but these are the two sides of the championship coin. You cannot win always. And it's how you cope with defeat. Car right. Yeah. Hold your line. Yeah, Car I am. Right. Go through. And ready in P6. Expected him even further up. The order actually is pretty fast here, pretty good. Montoya and Tracy. Let's see if they can bring it home, because, uh, yeah, well, they don't have the best consistency in my custom AI. On your right. Okay, right. But I'd really like to know why I am so slow accelerating. Is that only due to the tires being too hot? I don't know. How many times have I been lapped now? Twice? Thrice? Blue flag. Ah. Tell me something new. What I gotta say, like in real life in that year. Yeah, very diverse. Results also by by the big guys. So, sometimes a race win, sometimes super slow. Then again, overdoing it, DNFing. Almost the only one being relatively consistent was Jody Ferran.
but also here on paper or uh, more precise in the XML. Blue flag. Yep. Juan Pablo is the fastest driver overall in qualifying and in the race. But so far he wasn't able to, well, yeah, realize that. Put that into actual results. Uh, it's just, I cannot step on the throttle, let alone floor it, no chance. Losing under acceleration, under braking, and also in the corners due to too little grip. Uh, it's, well, it's a hopeless situation. I can only try and, uh, well, pull it through with some sort of Decency and dignity. Not much more to gain here, actually. Remember what I said in the beginning about my expectations for this race? Well, rarely I've been more mistaken. Vassar and P1. P26. That's the end of the race. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, that's, that's funny. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Of course, I would like to leave this this place <laughs> as quickly as as possible. It's the site of my defeat, the biggest defeat so far in in this championship, and I gotta say, overall. <laughs> Um, well, the other defeats that you haven't seen on my channel, so to say, I, I keep them private. <laughs> but yes, yes, yes. Can't help it, guys. Can't help it. This is how it is. P26 with overheating tires on my car. Not capable of doing anything, anything against these guys. The only alternative for me would have been to do three or four stops and to really burn the tires. And, and try to do 50 hot laps. So let's take a look at the final results and then at the accumulated championship standings. Jimmy Vassar won. Congrats to him. Very good performance. In the end, 12 seconds over Juan Pablo Montoya, who put in his best result in this series. Paul Tracy, Roberto Moreno, great fourth place. Maybe he now is the new leader in the championships, we'll, we'll see that in a second. Then it's Adrian Fernandez, Christian Fittipaldi, Kenny Bragg, Jill De Ferran, Alex Tagliani, Michael Andretti only in P10, Oriol Sevilla, Patrick Carpentier, Cristiano D'Amata, and Mimo Gidley. Again, no points for Helio Castro Neves, who's actually, well, one of the, I'd say, four or five quickest drivers here. Take a look at the other drivers for yourselves. I am there in P26, two laps down. My fastest time was only a one minute zero. The only driver retired was Novato Fontana, 16 laps to the end. Okay, so I actually beat two drivers. I don't know what, what happened to them. And of course, uh, it couldn't be their overall speed. They were faster than me. Let's take it as it is. And now let me do some calculation and give you the actual championship standings. Roberto Moreno now leading with 44 points plus 14 points. Second, Jill De Ferran now 41 points plus seven. Third, Juan Pablo Montoya 36 now plus 18. P4, 
Jimmy Vassar, 34 points now, plus 20 after his victory at Cleveland. I'm now in P5, remaining on 24. P6, Kenny Brack with now 22, plus 8. Also in P6, Fittipaldi with 22, plus 10 points after Cleveland. P8, Cristiano D'Amata, a total of 20 points, plus 2. Taliani in P9, 19 points plus 6. And a big step up for Paul Tracy after his podium finish at Cleveland, now on 17 points plus 16. In P11, there is Michael Andretti on 16 points plus 5. P12, Brian Herder staying at 14, no points at Cleveland. In 13, again two drivers, it's Carpentier and Sevilla with 13, plus 3 for Carpentier, plus 4 for Sevilla. P15, it's Hernandez now on 12 points, coming from 0. 16 Papis staying on 8. P17 Canan staying on 6. P18 Salles staying on 5. P19 Castroneves staying on 4. P20 Mirrors 2 points. And in P21, with now one point, it's Memo Gidley. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's not been easy to do this video, as you might imagine. How do you tell a story of defeat? Well, <laughs> I hope I did it quite well. Please leave a like if you think so too. Have a good time and see you on the next one. Bye.